Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at um, and a quick answer to some of the questions of Microsoft Edge. There's a few little things that popped up also that are worrying some users. Um, the first one of course I get a lot of complaints of people saying I don't want this it's being pushed to my machine and uh, you know I want to remove it. You can't and uh, basically when people say well you know I hate this that's why I don't like the operating system and so on. You already had Edge. You're just getting an update to uh, the newer version of Edge. So you're not being pushed with something that you didn't have. You're being pushed with the new version of what you already had. You just didn't see it. So I don't really find that ranting very productive. Let's say it like that. Uh, it is there and you just right click and remove the uh, links that you see on your screen and the shortcuts and that's it. It's just going to be removed. As for the rest, uh, the people that use it seem to love it in general and it is a nice browser. I use it all the time. Make sure that you have the latest version by going to the upper right corner in the three horizontal dots and uh, go to uh, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. You should see that you're at 83.0.478.56 that's the version we have right now as of Monday, June the 29th, 2020. The um, question that I have from some users is I want a lot of users. I've seen that there are features that they want to have that's available, but in the Canary version, which is the daily updated version. And so one of the questions that some of you have is, you know, should I move to that to get the features I want? Because I'd like to. And of course, you know, if we look at the version numbers, the, uh, you know, version of Canary is two versions ahead. It's at version 85.0.561 rather than 83. Remember that if you do so, it is beta software, which means that you are actually getting something that's unfinished. So don't, uh, you know, start thinking about that if you do so, because you are having unfinished software and it could crash so just remember my personal experience i use the canary version a lot i use the devel developer version a lot it does sometimes happen there are little things here and there but overall it's been very stable so it's up to you you can try it and you can anyways remove it the uh, versions that you have on beta and canary and insiders uh, stuff developer can be uninstalled uh, so you can remove them if you don't want them. The other question, if I have the test versions, will I have the real one? Yes, of course, it, it's different. It's Each version is like its own software, so no problem there. One of the things also that I get asked is about Windows 7, Windows 8.1. I saw this thing called Edge. You know, a lot of people just jump on the conclusion oh, is this a virus is this no this is edge they're pushing it to windows 7 and windows 8.1 users the question that i get often why are they pushing it to windows 7 if the end of support is um is there simply because there's a lot of businesses that are actually using the extended support so they have the edge browser if they ever use the edge browser on windows 10 that can sync all of the data and all the information so they're pushing it there. Think about it also, if you have it on a regular version of Windows 7 that's not supported anymore as a updated browser, that is one way to mitigate the uh, hundreds of security holes on Windows 7 so that if you browse with a browser that is updated all the time, you kind of lower the chances of having some, um, you know, really um, some mal malware, even though it's, you know, not as obvious as that. The uh, question that came up a lot over the last few days, so it follows a Reddit post. Somebody on Reddit posted that um, Edge is snooping on Firefox and Chrome and that it, uh, you know, it, it gets personal information from there without permission. And this comes from the fact that when you set up the browser for the first time, some people notice that their Firefox or Chrome uh, bookmarks or favorites are seen in the background. 
So what did that mean? A lot of people say, well, so it's actually taking all the information before it even asked me if I want to. That's not cool. Microsoft answers back, well, you know, you just say you don't want to import anything and we discard the information. So until now, there's like, you know, yeah, okay. I understand the fact that maybe it should be important after you say, yes, I want to import them or not. But um, if you say no and, and that you don't want to import, there's no importation of anything. So it's discarded and not within the browser. So it's technically not there. Um, yeah, maybe Microsoft should change that to, you know, import it just after you say you don't want it or, or want it rather than import it and then discard it because you don't want it. It, I do agree it's a weird way of doing it, so uh, that that should be changed, honestly. But not to worry, because once you say you discard, these are not there. For the rest, well, I get a lot of people saying, you know, all the privacy issues in Microsoft, and there's a lot of people who are, like, weary of Microsoft, and, you know, the past of Microsoft doesn't help also in, in, in understanding, you know, in, in getting secure, but... Um, you know, Edge is uh, a lot more private and a lot more privacy oriented than Google Chrome is. Honestly, Google Chrome is a privacy nightmare. I will repeat it. Uh, Google is tracking everything possible with with Google Chrome. Uh, where here, at least you have some options to um, balance out what's tracking you on the Internet. That's for sure. And yes, the updates are coming soon. So uh, in the next week, two weeks, uh, three weeks, we probably will have some update to the browser. So um, it is updated roughly every six weeks, a 68 weeks. So we'll be looking, of course, at any other update for the stable version at some point and talk about it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.